Let's start this bulletin with our top focus this hour. Nation continues to reel under intense heatwave conditions amid no respite. In Delhi, in the national capital, the maximum temperature has dipped slightly on Thursday but remains around a notch above the normal for this time of the year. In fact, even as the temperatures registered a dip to 41 degrees, the real feel remained that of 50 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, abrupt power cuts in NCR have also made it even worse to tackle the scorching temperatures. Furthermore, temperatures have also reached 49 degrees in Rajasthan, claiming a lives, in fact, claiming lives of nine people. No relief is expected in the coming days as well, and a red alert has been issued for Rajasthan, Haryana, Delhi, and Western Uttar Pradesh. And in fact, this also extends to North Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat for the next five days. Meanwhile, Punjab and Himachal Pradesh are also facing concerning heatwave conditions. All schools have been shut in Himachal Pradesh today. In fact, uh, for Today and tomorrow, in Himachal Pradesh zona, the schools have been shut amid the prevailing heat wave. My colleague Adib joins us on the broadcast to get us more details on this. Uh, Adib, this is of course the heat wave conditions that we're talking about. Help us understand what the condition is on ground and also what the Med Department predicts for the next few days. Uh, we'll see the temperature. Uh, normally, the temperature is rising between in Uttar Pradesh. We we'll talk about the Uttar Pradesh. The minimum temperature is at around 33 degrees, and the maximum is at around 45 degrees. And today, if we talk about the today's temperature, it, it, it is around uh, uh, it is at, uh, 11 a.m. and the temperature is almost at 42 degrees. Uh, so it's a very uh, hot weather in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, yesterday, it was uh, a relief, uh, some relief uh, for the uh, residents of Uttar Pradesh, for the people of Uttar Pradesh, as some parts received. A uh, bit of rainfall, but uh, again we are back uh, uh, on the same track. Heat wave conditions are prevailing throughout country, especially in north, uh, north, east, north states, uh, states like Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi. Similar conditions are seen. Uh, we are witnessing in uh, the hilly areas, Himachal Pradesh, and uh, the Met, Met Department has uh, also issued uh, directions. Uh, Met Department has also said that people should avoid going out. Uh, uh, in between 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., they should only step out if it's uh, uh, very necessary or, they are, or else they should stay in their offices or homes uh, during that particular time. Uh, so the temperature is uh, ranging between 40 to 45 degrees and the directions have been given by the Med Department. Uh, if you talk about Uttar Pradesh, uh, the Education Department, uh, the uh, Lucknow DM and other uh, district DMs have already uh, ordered the, the, that the schools will be shut. Uh, summer vacation, most of the schools have declared summer vacation. While those uh, who are still teaching, they have uh, changed the timing. The school timings have also been changed in many of the districts in Uttar Pradesh. Right, Adip, appreciate you joining us on the broadcast, helping us understand what the situation is like in Lucknow, in Uttar Pradesh in particular. Also, my colleagues uh, Nikhil and Gajraj got us details on what's happening in the national capital and also in Rajasthan. Take a look to seven days are going to be very much crucial. There is red alert which has already been issued and in place starting from yesterday and the temperature after a day or two is also expected to rise. If we talk about the numbers in particular, yesterday the uh, national capital recorded a temperature around 43 to 44 degrees Celsius and the IMD department have further said that it is going to revolve uh, around the same temperature for a day or two but after then we are going to see a sudden rise in the overall temperature as far as the NCR region is concerned yesterday, uh, Rajasthan's Badmir, uh, which is one of the districts, it recorded the highest uh, temperature across the country with 48.8 degrees Celsius. So you can imagine the uh, kind of situation which is currently prevailing and the major factor for the same Nivedna is the Alino factor, which we were uh, already discussing yesterday only, where the surface of the ocean, it gets warmer and because of the winds blowing from that particular direction, uh, we see the dry and warm winds uh, at this region as well and the IMD scientists have said that since the winds are coming from the side of the Pakistan as well, it is equally responsible for the same and for about a week or two there is no respite which is expected as far as the uh, short relief is concerned in the form of rainfall. There is no uh, active western disturbance which appears to be moving in this direction so next few days are going to be uh, very much crucial in this context.
सो नियरली सेवन टू एट पीपल हैव यू नो डाइड एज पर द रिपोर्ट्स एंड जालोर बाडमेर हैव बीन द रीजन हु यू नो फेसिंग द स्कॉचिंग ही द मकरी यू नो कंटिन्यूसली राइजिंग देर एंड बाडमेर हैज बीन यू नो सेकंड हॉटेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड एज वेल विद फोर्टी एट डिग्रीज ऑफ द टेम्परेचर राइजिंग देर एंड राइट नाउ द गवर्मेंट हैज ऑल्सो इशूड इन यू नो फ्यू डायरेक्शन फॉर ऑल द स्टाफ मेंबर्स ऑल द मेडिकल स्टाफ द पैरामेडिकल्स एंड दे आर सेट टू बी यू नो स्टे ऑन रेड अलर्ट फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ एमरजेंसी सिचुएशन दैट माइट अराइज इन दिस हीट वेव कंडीशन एंड इट इज नॉट कमिंग यू नो Uh, any time down uh, and uh, all, you know the, the alerts are coming day by day uh, for you know uh, the increase in temperature so it uh, it is also likely that rajasthan might see uh, temperature that is going f uh, beyond 50